This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Uh oh, he's gonna cheat. BRINF! I clamped my hands on my shoulders, speaking in a low voice after pulling them closer. Bruh. The two of them, not immediately understanding what I had just said, or the meaning behind it, were momentarily confused. Yeah, come on, bro. Oh, we are gonna bribe them to win, Derek. We, <laughs> we want five hundred dollars. <laughs> the two of them considered it briefly. See, th this is what kids like to buy. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> you fool. I'll invest in precious metals and sell it after inflation hits to make a fortune. <laughs> We club members have a penalty game separate from the casual participants. If we lose, we have to obey a single command from the winner. From another point of view, the winner earns the prize of being able to order the other club members around. Oh, this is dirty, Keiichi. You don't do this. Uh-oh. Well, who, who wouldn't like Rika? I drew the two of them, red-faced and conscious, to, of wherever everybody else heard what I just said, even closer. Okay, now now we're getting a little too weird here, Keiichi. No! <laughs> okay, Keiichi, you're going way overboard right now. <laughs> A sensitive age where you couldn't say you liked the girl you liked. Understanding that gave me all the more power! <laughs> that is dirty and disgusting. A red fountain spewed from both of Tomita kun's nostrils. That is not how nosebleeds work. This nasty. Blood erupted from the vein in his forehead. What the heck? <laughs> this just got many kinds of uncomfortable. If this is what charisma is, then I don't want it. Then I suddenly lowered the tone of my voice. Oh, bro. This is becoming too anime for my liking. This was the moment that the values of men bridge generations. Yikes. Did I ever have a mentor who ever spoke my mind for me so strongly? Never. There was no way there was. That's because in a man's lifetime, he'll only have three fateful encounters. That valuable first time was being experienced right this moment with these two. Yeah, Ina. Yeah, Keiichi, you're uh, you're weird, uh, buddy. It's fine then. Think so. 
せーのゲーム終了 It was such an assertive declaration of the game's ending that everybody in the store turned and looked. It had been less than three minutes since I was on the verge of forfeit, and all the spectators were certain of my loss. I'm pretty sure literally everybody lost. Many fans in that. <laughs> you know, I appreciate the honesty, DX. I do. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure we'll get a, a guy shirtless scene in here. The two of them, stifling tears of gratitude, answered strongly from the bottom of their hearts. Those two kids are going to be disappointed beyond belief if we don't take the whole thing home. Just saying. Exactly what kind of miracle occurred here during those three minutes the spectators all looked away from my utter disadvantage? <laughs> we cannot tell Rena how we won. Actually, we can't tell anybody how we won, even though they're definitely going to figure it out the instant that we win overall and announce what the orders are. Uh, yeah, we turned around that hopeless situation. That guy, is he able to control the spinner wheel with his eyes or something? It's a miracle! What devilry is this? He's in cahoots with that Mion, you know. There's no doubt he had some strange trick up his sleeve. So it's just everybody knows Mion cheats openly, and they're just like, Well, what you gonna do? I looked at the crowd, who couldn't help but be excited, out of the corner of my eye. Now fully awakened and in battle mode, I let out a derisive laugh. No, that's what it means for you to be a lech. <laughs> Bearing our feints at each other, we laughed together in the most unsightly fashion. You know what? Maybe Keiichi and Mion are perfect for each other. <laughs> Sorry, Rena. Yeah, he, Keiichi is gonna ruin those kids' lives by his bad influence. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, the confidence! Rika's just like, I already know what I'm going to do when I win. Not if! When. <laughs> do tell, Rika. Are you going to buy a year's supply of gumballs? Satoko and Rena smiled, sneered at each other? <laughs> These guys. Do they really think they can win against Keiichi Maibara when he gets serious? Neil. Well, it's true, I don't have my own gun. Oh, I don't think so. I'm going to be uh, video recording the entire match, and if you at any point cheat, I'll get it on video, and you will be an utter disgrace of the family for generations. Keiichi pulling out the even better retort. Oh, she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. <laughs> Renna deserves better. <laughs> well, then again, Renna's also secretly psychotic, so maybe she doesn't. Actually, everybody's secretly psychotic in this game. If Rika turns psychotic, that'll probably be the scariest one of them all. Mion's hair flowed elegantly, almost like a cape as she turned her back on the table. Capture the flag. <laughs> 
The combative aura billowing out of Mion's body formed a barrier, stopping Satoko's advance. She's like, guys, I don't actually have $500 to spend, so I have to win. <laughs> Boo! I want the, uh, the match now. You, that's, that's called an anti-climax right there. With a shrill laugh, Mion left the store. After a moment of silence, the crowd erupted into cheers! When will they resume the contest? Mion, serious! The other members did great, too! That new guy, Maibaro, he's got some strange power. It's called the power of perversion. He turned the tables in an instant! Uh, you probably want to be careful where you say that out loud, buddy. The part of the crowd that had apparently overheard the covenant between Tomita-kun, Okamura-kun, and myself erupted into a cheer again. Mion's going to win anyways! She's the undefeated empress! I'm betting on Mion! No, it's going to be Rena with that ungodly speed! So talk about the trap artist! Rika the Siren! Okay, sorry, but Rika's... I think Rika's at the least advantage here, because her, um... She's not... She's gonna be playing against people who aren't simping for her. Well, KG might, but that's one out of five. It may be a lone shot, but it'll be my Barra! However, right now, I have no ear for those cheerful voices. Setting the stage for this huge match and then running away like that, I wasn't going to forgive Mion. Mion got called back to the government. Outside of her, the store Mion was getting on her bike as the shop owner was seeing her off. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna compete in Smash Bros, but it's Smash Brothers in real life. Advantage, Keiji. <laughs> the most normal one would definitely creep you out the most. Yeah, generally that's how it goes if people go to go uh, creepy. Mm. Oh, sorry. Oh, she got a part-time job. Where at? Huh? Like you would see in a sketch comedy show, my legs slipped in opposite directions until I was doing splits. It's not that surprising of news. Oh, no. スーパーの店長でもやってんのかささやかなお店だけどねうーあがるのでもさ特売やれば主婦が殺到するの常識で読めないのかね店員足りないのに卵一パックを一人様一点限り十円なんてやるなわおあダイムフォーアカートンオブ
She laughed with a smile that made you feel refreshed just looking at it. At that moment, the shop owner came out carrying a paper bag. I wonder what it is. Is he giving it to us? This guy sold all my most expensive games. Oh, this is nice. Uh, we either went back in time, or this is an alternate timeline, or we're just... It's like, oh, no, chapter one was the demo. It's not canon. <laughs> It better not be non-canon. Uncle? Wait, she's working at this store? Or is this a different uncle? When Satoko and Rika-chan opened up the bag, there were cute little stuffed animals inside. Well, Rena definitely likes that. <laughs> no, I heard what you said to those kids over there. I don't appreciate it. You get nothing. <laughs> Did you get the Frogger plushie? It was a stuffed toy wearing a beautiful dress. One you'd use to play house. Oh, he got a doll. Rena's eyes were glued to my stuffed doll. Stucco was the same, and... Rika-chan, too? <laughs> I got the girliest one, of course I did. Thanks, Uncle. I appreciate it. Okay, Keiichi, you're, you gotta give it to one of the girls. If you keep the doll for yourself, you're gonna get some raised eyebrows. I'm just saying that. Ooh, do we get a choice? I hope... We, I hope... Oh, I really hope we actually get an honest goodness choice of, like, who do you give the doll to? I think that could be interesting. Mm. Yep, it's true. Mion didn't have to go that far, but she is true. She is correct. This wasn't something a guy like me should be carrying around. Mion was the only one who hadn't received a present, so I thought about giving it to her. However, after briefly considering, I gave it to Ren instead. Uh, you you could have given it to Mion. She seemed like she was a little upset about not getting a present. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> we get our first CG. Oh my gosh! So that's the doll, and this is simultaneously heartwarming and heartbreaking because you can see Mion in the back, just like, oh, she gets it too. But <laughs> Rena's like, yes, best day ever! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I freaking love the Mion art here. I assume it doesn't change. Okay, no. CGs are consistent throughout all of them. <laughs> I think he probably should have at least offered it to Mion. Even if she was like, no, I don't like dolls, then you could be like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. But like, come on, Ren already got something. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe she's taking it better than I thought. <laughs> I mean, her uncle works at the store. She also has a gun. <laughs> And she's got $500 pocket money, so she's she's good. Hmm, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, Mion's a bit of a mystery to me. Uh huh. I don't think I could take you in a fight because you got a gun. <laughs> Mion laughed after saying such an ominous line. Everybody laughed heartily along with her. Yeah, that's not how that works. Uh huh. <laughs> that would be. Oh, imagine if there's an alternate timeline where Mion actually is a boy. That that would be somewhat interesting. Mion-chan, if you don't get going soon, the shop owner told her meekly. The lot of us looked like we were having a lot of fun, so it must have been hard to put a wet blanket on things. Okay, so, wait. So her uncle is at the, is the owner of the toy store, but then she has another uncle that she's working for at the job. Okay. She got a big family. That's nice. See ya! 
Everybody waved their hands and watched as Mion left. Before I knew it, the sun was already setting, and the breeze carried a hint of chill. Well, we gotta get home in time for dinner, and it's an hour bike ride. It's a small town, Hinamizawa. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, wait. Feel like Mion's feigning smiles. That's also possible. She's got five hundred dollars pocket money. She can buy her own doll if she wants one. Although still, it would have been a nice gesture on Keiji's part if he had offered it to her. But she also cheated the wind, so. <laughs> the wind blew gently as if to cool down those of us flushed with enthusiasm. The road back to Hinamizawa was long, but I didn't really mind. Okay, well, she won because she get went up against simps. That, that, that's not a real victory. Oh, wait, no, she was saying Rena, not Rika. Never mind. Never mind, I take that back. Rena won for pure skill. I mean, there's some chip teasing between Keiichi and Rena and also Keiichi and Mion. So I, f I feel like that could very well turn into a love triangle situation. No, no mercy. <laughs> she knows that she's doing it too. Yeah. I feel like Rika could either turn out very normal and well adjusted, or she could take over the world. Yeah, uh, please don't ask how that happened. Huh? Uh, you know, don't ask! <laughs> Red is like, this is the best day! Yeah, see, here, here's the thing, like, in the OG art style and in the console art style, Rika always just looks like she's nervous or, like, just very nonplussed about the situation. <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh-huh. But then here in the remake, she's always got a smile on, which is interesting. Uh-oh, Rika was bugging the place. She knows. Desperately laughing, I frantically tried to avoid the subject. After that, everybody continued to praise each other for how they defeated their opponents and reflected on how fun today was. That's definitely a very pretty uh, background. Satoko, getting even more excited, pointed, waving where her finger indicated was an immense sunset, casting even longer shadows of us on our bikes. The cries of the Higarashi were gentle and very comforting. <laughs> yeah, but not for long! <laughs> Oh, there we go! Higurashi when they cry. That took a while to get to that first break. Hmm! New tips unlock! Who's Mion's uncle? Game Masters! Finish a Sunday of fun and games. It's even funnier, because I've got the Sunday achievement on Sunday! <laughs> Somewhat ominous music. Who's Mion's uncle? I just don't know. Let's figure this out. Hmm, sorry. Today, I'm going to go to the house. What's that? 
じゃあ今日の部活はお流れってわけかにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにゃーにおじさん抜きでやってもいいけど。I forgot she always described herself as an old man. That is weird. どれか適当に選んで。I say we play Candyland! The club locker was the transdimensional space from which Mion pulled games whenever we met for club activities. I wondered how many, so many freaking games could be stored in the locker. It was even smaller than the one with the cleaning supplies in it. Besides those games, it was also a cornucopia of suspicious objects. Costumes? For punishment games. If we lined them all up on the floor in order to sort them, they would definitely fill the entire classroom. Oh, great. I don't know how it's gonna fall on me. Mion gave a hearty laugh, implying that the only one who could do it was the club president. Darn it, did Tomia get locked in there again? Mion said, feeling about in her pocket. Judging by her expression, she must have planned on returning it, but it was still in her pocket. Giggling, Satoko and Rika chan clapped their hands together in celebration. Yakamashi! <laughs> How blunt! Did she just beat the both of them? Slap, clap! Mion elbowed Satoko and Rika chan in their heads and then headed through the teacher's lounge. Ah, it seemed uncomfortable. Meep? That's not a word, Rika. The two of them made disappointed faces. No, they didn't! Those are not faces of disappointment! <laughs> Whatever anyone said, Mion's club was always the number one thing I looked forward to when going to school. It wasn't hard to agree with their melancholic expressions after hearing it wouldn't be happening today. Those are not melancholic expressions! They're both smiling! <laughs> or is this a case where it's just the remake? Okay, Rika's a little disappointed here, but... No, Satoko... Yeah, like, look how vastly different Rika looks in this art style compared to this one. It's kind of astonishing. Whenever Mion canceled club, it was usually because of her job. The nerve of her having a job. However, it also doesn't seem like she went there every day. She would go two or three days in a row and then not go at all for a while. It sounded like a pretty damn random part-time job. Maybe her uncle is like a business entrepreneur who owns like half the town. Mion wearing socks and a helmet, sweating to death in a factory. I couldn't imagine such a thing. I admit, Rika is a decent reason why I like the remake graphics a lot better, but also, once things started getting creepy, this art style was the creepiest, which that's what I'm going for. Ah, that's right. That's that's true. The original sprites, they've got a charm to them. Like, as derpy as they can look sometimes, there is a charm to them. But once the things started getting creepy, the original sprites did not look creepy to me at all. I'm just like, oh no, instead of Rena having legit crazy eyes and a psychotic smile, it's just like, oh, it looks like she just smoked a weed. Hashtag arty quotes. She has a lot of uncles who own shops. A lot of them? Okay, yeah, so it is a case of multiple uncles. Yes, well, you can have multiple uncles. 
さんとか、八百屋さんとか、ラーメン屋さんとか。Ooh, can I work at the bakery? 他にもまだまだ。あの部活をやったおもちゃ屋さんもそうなんですよ。I was dumbfounded. That's amazing! ミオンの一族って、何気に詳細があるんですか<笑>それだけいろいろあるってのも。なんだかすごいよな。他にもサラキン屋さんとか、地上げ屋さんとか、イメクラ屋さんとか。リカ、How do you know about that? いろいろやってると言ってますです。She has an uncle who's a literal shark. Okay, couple of weird things came up that time, but still, I could tell it was pretty extensive. あいつに小銭を借りると、妙に返却期限にうるさいのは。サラキン屋の血が流れてるからか。I hope she's helping out the uncle in the bakery and not the uncle who runs the brothel. 納得納得。ミーにお買い物代を借りたことを忘れてしまったら、耳を揃えて解散と身売りして風呂に沈めたるどとすごまれましたのです。Well, that's freaking dark. Wow. Rika chan being sold into the entertainment industry to pay off her debts. Oh crap. Bro! They did not. They should not have gone there. That is dark AF. Huh? She doesn't really get it, does she? Recently, she seemed so unspoiled. He relies more on sound than visuals when creating atmosphere and horror. The sound design was great in Chapter 1. Rika chan and I gave a pat on her head. And the fiends that creeped me out most weren't necessarily the sprites, but rather just the, again, kind of the atmosphere and the writing. Which is good. Sure! Satoko was lost in confusion, but she seemed to understand she was being made fun of. I feel like we didn't need a whole skit for that. They could have just said, like, Oh, Mion, like,、uh, you're going to work? Yeah, I've got a bunch of uncles and I help them out from time to time. Oh, cool. <laughs>